Hey survivors and thrivers. In this video, I am going to answer a question that many of you may have. When is the Narcissus game finally over? Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the Narc Survivor merchandise page in the video description where you can get your own Narc Survivor t-shirts and mugs. When is the Narcissus game over? How do you know when it's finally over? How do you know when you have finally defeated them? These are all questions I'm sure that you will have. The power to decide when the Narcissus game is over is in your hands. Once you no longer believe in them or believe in what they are saying or displaying to you, once you no longer see them as a credible source and you no longer entertain their opinions of you or how they feel about you, you no longer believe in their lies, their illusions. Now the Narcissus game is over. Now they know that they no longer have the same control over you as they once did. They are no longer able to pull your strings in the same way as they once did. They can no longer get you to believe in them or whatever it is that they want you to believe. Once you take your belief away, your acceptance that something exists or is true, your confidence in them, your dependence or reliance on them, once you take all of this away, it makes it very difficult for them to manipulate or control you. Because you're not believing in anything they say or display to you anymore. You don't trust them anymore. You have taken away your firm belief in their reliability, truth or ability. You don't see them as possessing any significant value to you. You don't see them as being anything of importance, worth or usefulness to you. This is what the narcissist manipulation and control of you depends on. It depends on your acceptance of what they are saying or displaying to you, followed by your belief, dependence and reliance on them. You have to trust in them as being something of re reliability, truth or ability. You have to believe that they possess some, some form of importance, worth or usefulness to you. If you no longer believe in what they are saying or displaying to you, if you take a step back from their lies or illusions and really see them for what they are, you will realize that they do not hold any importance, worth or usefulness to you. There isn't any value there. The manipulation was designed to make you believe that there was value there. That's what it was all about making you believe that something of value existed where it did not. By making you believe that they held something of value or significance to you, they were then able to control you. They were able to get you to stay or meet their demands, chase their approval of you, when they never held their end of the bargain. This relationship you had with them was an unwritten contract, an agreement made between two people about what each will do for the other. They were getting plenty of value and significance from you, your attention, validation, approval and admiration of them. 
your positive energy, love, acceptance, trust, loyalty, honesty, maybe money, material items, sex. You gave them plenty of value and significance. That's why this game lasted for so long. But they failed to meet or satisfy their part of the agreement. The only work they ever put into this was to make you believe that they had something of value or significance to offer you. This is all dependent on your belief. Everything they do revolves around making you believe that they have some level of importance, worth or usefulness to you, when the reality is very different. They do not hold any importance to you. They never did. If anything, they hold a negative value. And rather than being anything of any use to you, they are liabilities. Their presence or behavior will inevitably put you at a disadvantage. They create circumstances that make your progress or success difficult. Once you begin to realize this, it will affect them. At this point, their game is over. They can no longer alter your perception. They can no longer change how you understand or interpret them. Once the game is over, they have no choice but to move on and leave you alone. It's too much effort for them to try and get you to believe in them all over again. To regain your trust and the level of honor or respect that they once had in your eyes. They had to alter your perceptions and make you believe that they should hold a level of honor or respect to you. But once you no longer believe in what they are saying or displaying to you, they will stop trying to make you see them as anything honorable or respectable. Because they know they hold nothing of significance or value to you. They knew that all along. The game was to try and get you to believe that they had some level of importance, worth or usefulness to you. This is what created the cognitive dissonance, the two conflicting beliefs. They never really gave you anything of significance or value, but they managed to get you believe that they did have something to offer. You really need to take a step back and look at it for what it is from a third person perspective. You have been abused and manipulated, devalued and degraded, publicly humiliated and exploited. Where is the significance or value in any of this? You want to believe in them. You want to believe that they had something great to offer you, but they didn't. That was all a lie, an illusion. If they had anything great to offer you, you would have seen it by now. Look at everything that you have experienced with them. Remember everything they told you or displayed to you. Everything they tried to get you to believe. The future faking. Then making an assessment of your current situation and where you are now. You have every reason not to believe in them. Every reason not to value anything they say or display to you. Identify that you are not dealing with a credible person. You are not dealing with someone that you can rely or depend on. Someone that you can trust. This person does not hold any of those qualities. If they did, there would be some positive results by now. Even with a narcissist, it shouldn't take them that long to develop some level of progress or success. But if your current situation with them hasn't improved in any way, 
you need to stop believing in them. They are not worthy or deserving of your belief. And they know it. That's why they have all of these manipulation tactics. To disguise that fact. They know they're not good enough for you. The game is designed to make you believe that you're not good enough for them. Then you will constantly try to meet their demands. While they do not give any importance, worth or usefulness to you. And that's exactly how they want it to be. Because they know that if there was an opportunity where they were forced to display some level of importance, worth or useful usefulness to you, they would fail miserably. You would quickly realize that this person does not possess the qualities, talents or positive traits that they once claimed to have. And that is the purpose of this game. They are well aware that they do not possess any of the qualities talents or positive traits that you are looking for. The game is to make you believe that they do. Meanwhile devaluing and degrading you to make you feel as though you are not good enough for them. It keeps you looking at yourself rather than at them and how they really have no importance, worth or usefulness to offer you. The Narcissist game revolves around your belief. It is dependent on your belief. Your belief holds a great amount of value in this game. It is very valuable to them. If you believe in them, they are able to manipulate and control you. Once you take your belief away, it will remove your emotional attachment to them. It will take away your reliance, your dependency on them. You will begin to realize that the only person you need to rely or depend on is yourself. All of the manipulation tactics, all of the denial, projection, gaslighting and the double bind was designed to make you believe as though you cannot rely or depend on yourself. This left you returning to the Narcissus for validation. The Narcissus got in the middle of the relationship you once had with yourself. They made you believe that you could no longer love or trust yourself. They made you feel as though you were not a complete person. As though you needed them to be complete. But here is the secret they do not want you to know. The secret which will end the Narcissus game forever. The secret is that you are already complete. You can rely on yourself. You can depend on yourself. Everything they did to you was designed to make you believe that you can no longer love or trust yourself. That is what gave them the power to manipulate and control you. Take back your power and realize that you are already complete. Stop believing in them. You can rely on yourself. You can depend on yourself. And you have more significant, valuable things to do than play games with a person who is too afraid to face reality. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you and helped you to identify when the Narcissus game is over. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Donations, please follow the PayPal link in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. If you are interested in the Narcs Fiverr merchandise and having your, your own Narcs Fiverr t-shirt or mug, the link to our Teespring page is in the video description. That's all for this video, I will talk to you soon.